You don't have to do that now. It can wait until morning. It can? Yes, it can. Well, you've certainly gotten mellow, Mrs. Wheeler. <laughs> Shh. He thinks I was always this way. Hey, you don't have to tell me twice. Uh, look, I'll come pick up this junk tomorrow, but right now I'm late for my shift at the chicken coop, huh? I'll see you, Mrs. Wheeler. Mr. Wheeler. Huh? Thank you. You work at the chicken coop, Billy? That's right. I'm the head bartender. Well, isn't that the same place that your friend... It's on this car that your friend Bernard... And Bernie, yeah. He's the manager there. And it's like it's a nightclub? That's correct. It's a late night club. As a matter of fact, things are starting to cook there. That's why I gotta go right now. Oh, well, is it formal? I mean, do you have to dress up? Well, heck no. This is Texas, Vivi. I mean, you, can, you don't have to dress up or anything. I'll tell you, we had a real good kicker there band, too. A, a kicker band? Yeah. A country, you know, oh, country western. Oh, I know. C&W like on TV. Well, not like on TV. I mean, this is where it's all coming from. They got a great singer, too. Best little voice in town. Oh. I wish I could go with you. Well, come on. I mean, ladies drink free, just like Bernie said. Vivian, you don't want to go to a place like that. It's totally unsuitable. It is? Oh. Oh, Mrs. Wheeler, don't you think it's time I got out and started meeting some people? Well, didn't you meet enough people tonight? Oh, I mean, people that Vivian. speak to my Vivian. cousins. I think Mrs. Wheeler is concerned about you going out alone in the middle of the night. You know, some night soon I'll send Ricky over and he can escort you over to the uh, chicken coop. Oh, you I would like uh, uh, that. Uh, 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 no way. Uh, Decker came in once and caused trouble. He was invited not to come back. Ricky caused trouble. That's right. He did. I mean, it's just the way them ex-cops act sometimes. You know, I'm sort of mean when they find folks having a good time. It ain't no problem, though. I'll tell you what. Um, this lady wants to make the scene. I'll make her my responsibility, personally. As a matter of fact, when she's had enough, I'll just throw her in a cab and send her on home. How'd that be, darling, huh? Vivian. You really mind if I go, Mrs. Wheeler? <sighs> no. All right, if you must. But I won't have you coming home inebriated. Of course I won't. What does that mean? Drunk. Don't get drunk. You know how you are the next day. So now if you must go to this place, just look around. That's all I want to do. Just look around. Really, cross my heart. Really, Vivian? Oh, thank you, Mrs. Wheeler. Thank you, Mr. Wheeler. Not both, Wheeler. not both. Don't go. pull Come me. Come on, we gotta go. Right. Alex. Actually. Well, you are a terrible influence on that girl. Well, you know, I was really thinking about you and me. You know, and uh, our being alone in this house and uh, working on one of our old projects. Any particular old projects? Well, just things other people do. You know, and uh, when they're alone and in love. Wait a minute, and then follow me into the office, OK? Rodney, everything all right tonight? Good. Thank you. That's a, that's a pretty good offer, Terry. Uh, in fact, that's the best offer I've had in a long time. But I don't know. Uh, I'm just have to think it over. I, I wouldn't want to stay with World Oil if it was just to keep my connections with Houston and Jenny. In fact, I think the best thing I could do right now is just stand aside and let Dennis take my place. Brian, there's room for both of you. No, no, no. There's room for only one successor to Alex. And maybe it ought to be Dennis. I mean. That's what Iris wants, and uh, that's certainly what Paige wants, right? Paige? But Paige has always wanted, been more interested in what she wants than what's good for anybody else. Dennis included. Herself included, for that matter. She's the only person I know that might actually cut off her nose to spite her face. Hey, come on now. I know she's a schemer, but I think you lost me somewhere. Um, why are we talking about Paige, anyway? Well, she was just here. Didn't you see her? Yeah, at the reception. No, here. Just now. What do you mean, here? I mean here, just a minute ago. Seems a little strange, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it's so strange, you're probably imagining it. I mean, why would she leave her wedding reception and come up to the top of the World Club? I don't know. I just know I saw her. She even waved at me. With Dennis? No, she was alone. 
Except for the man that was sitting at the bar who followed her out. <laughs> followed her? Why don't you just mean leaving? Listen, Terry, what are you talking about? Why does this concern you so much? I don't know exactly. And he wasn't just leaving. She went towards her office. And what's strange is that the man that was sitting at the bar was also at the reception. Well, okay, then, then you was someone you knew, right? No, nope. never saw him before. That's what's bizarre. Because I helped Iris with the guest list. I knew every person on it. Every person Iris invited. just wiped away every trace of feeling that I ever had for you. Do you know that? If you'd have been run over by a truck yesterday and I'd read it in the paper, I would have felt a twinge of sadness. But now, now I hope it happens. I hope you leave here and cut down by a speeding truck because I will dance and sing and I will be the happiest woman alive. Yeah! yeah. How dare you! Show up at my wedding reception! My wedding reception! How despicable! Trying to embarrass me in front of my husband's parents. Oh, don't look at me like an idiot with that smirk on your face. Come off it, Paige. You're not doing an audition. What are you doing here, Chris? I was in town. I read your name in the paper, and I stopped by your party to say congratulations. Now, if I'd wanted to embarrass you, Very nice, thank you very much. I wonder if you'd bothered to congratulate me if I hadn't married quite so well. You mean into money? You know exactly what I mean. Yes, I do know exactly what you mean. And no, if you'd done a damn fool thing like marry for love, there wouldn't be anything to congratulate you for. I'd have just felt to myself the poor kid with her talents. Oh. <laughs> hey, nice. Very nice. Great passion, fiery eyes, heavy breathing. You might just get the part. How well can you do sex? 